Hi, I'm Stevie Fernandez. And I'm Trish Whitmer. It's nice to have you with us for this week's Explore Tulsa. Now, usually we wait until the end of the show to eat, but this week we're getting right to the good stuff. We go downtown this week to catch up with one of the newest trends of T-Town, the food truck. And one of the best in Tulsa is ran by Philip Phillips, a former musician who fixes up some of the best grub in town. So let's see what's cooking at the Lone Wolf Bon Me. Why Tulsa? Well, I mean, this is home. Tulsa's home. You know, we've, we've all grown up around here. Danielle and I grew up in the Cleveland and Sand Springs area. And we, you know, I spent my whole youth trying to get away from this place. And as I've grown up and I've traveled all around the country, this place is awesome. This place is fantastic. Um, and it's a sponge for culture. If you have something that you want to do that's going to better the community or better the area that you like to hang out in around town, then Tulsa will eat it up, and that's what we've learned over the past year. Uh, well, I've spent the last few years touring around the country with a band called Unwed Sailor, and I, I've played in about four local bands here in town. Another Fork there, played in a Esther Drang, Dead Sea Choir, Unwed Sailor, and Native Lights all here in Tulsa. It was all post-rock bands and whatnot, but no more time for music anymore, so. This is, uh, Lone Wolf is my new band. We got our start just because we absolutely love cooking food. Uh, I got to spend a stint living down in Austin, Texas. I lived across from a food truck court. So I got to hop my backyard fence and eat some of the best, most exciting food that you can find in Austin in, out, of a, out of the back of a truck every day. Um, so when we came back to relocate to Tulsa, back to Tulsa, we wanted to bring some of the cultures that we have gotten to experience outside of Tulsa back to our hometown. Because, you know, we ran away to experience culture and then we came back to bring it here, basically. Every single thing is prepared fresh daily in this truck. That's, that's the big standalone is nothing is pre-made, nothing is pre-cooked. We prep for seven hours, we go out, do a shift, and we sell out every single time that we open up. We fully stock the truck for seven hours, we sell it out, we go back home, we fully stock the truck for another seven hours, and then we come back out and we serve it. Do the most that you can with what you have at your fingertips. Um, I mean, it, it's a constant, a constant evolution on how to how to do what we want out of this truck. You know, you're you're limited to a, a griddle and a deep fryer, so then you have to kind of rethink some of your your training that you've gone through and figure out other ways to make to make things. Um, so, like you can see here, if we do a festival like this where it's nonstop people coming up, then we have to throw all of our food. I'll have Jeff over Jeff Crow over there cook off about 10 pounds of mushrooms and 10 pounds of pork at a time and we'll throw them into our chafing dishes so we just have a non-stop flow of sandwiches going out the window basically. You know I wish this was here whenever I was a teenager or in my early 20s you know and stomping around town and not just spending time at the house with my wife like I do like to do now well, which we never get to do because of the business anymore but uh, I mean it means everything to be able to see uh, hear people say thank you for doing this this is what Tulsa needed those are the, those are the words that we like to hear the most um, because this is what I felt like Tulsa needed is why we decided to do this so when we get to see that and people walk up and leave with a smile on their face and say man this was awesome this was a fun experience to come to your truck plus we got to have better some of the best food we've had around town uh, it's uh, there's no greater feeling <laughs> 